Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy, Cornelli E. Antonor, and this is Kennedy Countdown. There's a whole lot of shaking going on with NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS. To measure the level of vibrations SLS will experience during flight, teams at Kennedy are performing tests inside the Vehicle Assembly Building. This involves attaching about 300 sensors to the SLS stack to capture data and placing hydraulic shakers at different locations on the rocket. Teams also are using a small hammer to deliver calibrated taps at different areas on the mobile launcher to simulate vibrations. Engineers are using an Orion stage adapter, structural test article, and mass simulator to represent the weight of the stage adapter and spacecraft while teams continue launch processing of the real flight hardware. Slated to launch later this year, Artemis 1 will test SLS and Orion as an integrated system prior to crewed flights to the moon. Through NASA's Break the Ice Lunar Challenge, the agency awarded $500,000 divided among 13 teams across the United States. The teams submitted their ideas on how best to excavate resources during long duration missions to the moon. The challenge involved designing a method to extract water by excavating and moving large amounts of icy regolith, essentially moon dirt, from a permanently shadowed area of the moon. The challenge opened in November 2020 and was managed by Kennedy and NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. A future phase two of the challenge may focus on hardware development and demonstration. To keep up with Kennedy, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov slash Kennedy.